find one more than 86. So we have 8 tens and 6 units. Now if we add one more unit, now we have 8 tens and 7 units. So now here on the 100 square, if we move one place to the right, then we have one more, so that's 87. Find one less than 86, so we have 8 tens and 6 units. If we take one away, we now have 8 tens and 5 units. So on 100 squared, to find one less, we move to the left. So instead of 86, we have 85. Find one more than 49. So we have 4 tens and 9 units. And if we add one more unit, now we have 10 units. So we can make another 10. So we have 5 tens, and that's 50. And remember, on 100 square, if we move 1 to the right, we add 1. So 1 more than 49 is 50. Now 1 less than 49. I think you're getting the hang of this. So we have 4 tens, 9 units. Take away 1, and we have 48. And remember, on 100 square, we find 1 less by moving to the left. One more than 30, so we have three tens. If we add a unit, then we've got 31, three tens and one unit. Now on a hundred square, just like when you're reading pages of a book, when you get to the end of a line, you go to the beginning of the next line. So 1 more than 30 is 31. 1 less than 30, so we have 3 tens. Now if we break up one of our tens and take one away, we now have 2 tens and 9 units, so we have 29. And on 100 square, to find 1 less, we just move 1 place to the left.